What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Tardis Traveler 23 coming to you on the tube. That is for you. That is right. We are playing some more Fallout 4, and today I have a special treat for you. You see, I've been working on a project um, for the last couple of days now. <coughs> And if you've noticed, I've been building um, a lot of different settlements and everything um, and showing you guys. Uh, but now I'm using the share factory and I'm kind of mishmashing the, my videos together and everything like that. And I'm uh, making them really a whole lot more interesting to watch. Um, so I hope you like the videos. I hope you subscribe and everything like that. And I really, really hope um, you guys are liking what um, I created for you today. Um, before we get into it, I just want to give a little bit of background. So um, I've been watching a lot of videos and everything of modders and everything doing uh, their settlement builds and stuff like that. <coughs> and they're just impressive. They're absolutely amazing and fantastic. And um, I really, really love what they do um, with it by adding in all the tiny, tiny details. And so that's kind of what I wanted to be doing with my builds and everything is adding in those small details to really make the places feel like home and uh, feel like a place uh, for my characters to ultimately live. Um, now this place that I'm about to show you guys and I'll introduce the place here in just a few minutes um, uh, is, is essentially going to be my new home right here in Fallout 4. It's heavily guarded. It is set up. It's ready to go um, for me to live in. Um, it's going to be me, my character right there, Veronica uh, and everything as well as Kiri, her lover and um, of course my, my son Sean. Um, they're all living with me and everything in this, in this place as well as um, I have a robot that gives me free beer. So without further ado, um, we're about to get into it. Uh, I'm about to show you my build for the place known as Somerville Place. This is a beautiful settlement close to the glowing sea and everything. <coughs> it is a great settlement to build, large open space um, and everything. And it already comes with a pre-built home if you can repair the home it makes it a wonderful wonderful place to build and um, I've just had a lot of fun with this so we're gonna go ahead and get into it we're gonna head up this way and everything and if you as you can see around I have it very very heavily fortified um, I'm rocking some major big rocket turrets and everything on the corners of the buildings as well as some heavy machine gun turrets and another rocket turret right there in the front and a uh, um, I really, really wanted to make this a safe place for myself, Carrie and Sean to live and uh, really make it a place that we can call home. <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and walk in. Let's take a look inside <coughs> and see what I created. So as you can see, um, I really, really, really paid attention to the small details and everything. I put the windmills up on the top of the house to kind of give it a really nice uh, farmhouse kind of look. I've got the little area where you can sit around the fire, just chillax, relax, you know, calm down. Um, now this farming area right here, it's it's nothing but corn, and it does come stock with Somerville Place, and it was just in a beautiful position, and I didn't want to mess with anything. I didn't want to change that. I wanted to keep it very, very base on the outside and keep it very simple because it, it originally came with a beautiful build to begin with. Um, now you can, I did build a walkway and everything. I did originally have a guard tower right there, but I, then I built my walls and realized my walls were way really too tall. So I just turned it into a small pathway to get up onto the top to uh, <coughs> mess with the generator as well as the windmills. Um, but I am running everything off of that uh, nuclear reactor generator right there, and the windmills are mostly just for show. They are hooked up for a little extra power, but they didn't give enough um, also, right here, this is a neat little detail I decided to add. You can't very see it very well because I did shoot during the dark, which I'm sorry about that. Um, but I added in my own little baseball field and little tiny bases and everything so me and Sean can go out, you know, throw, throw around the baseball, you know, and stuff like that. So I wanted to show the farm area a little bit. Um, I do have a couple battle bags of fertilizer right there. And I've got Kiri right over there dressed in her, uh, her summer clothes and everything which is essentially a bad time because it's raining uh, but she's out there and she's uh she's keeping up the food supply for all of us and everything like that you know but next thing i want to show you guys is i want to show you the interior of the house this is probably my favorite build of all time i I spent so much time placing every little thing, making sure every little detail. I've got whiskey, Nuka Cola, purified water, different medicines. My kitchen is just beautifully set up um, in the space that I was given. 
you know, and I'm really, really proud of it. As well as I have my own little uh, dining, uh, my own little hangout area. You know, where I got my TV, my different paintings, um, and of course the people paintings. I don't know who they are, but I like them. I think it added a little bit more decor to the room. And uh, <clears throat> I also set up my uh, bobblehead station and my magazine station because I just like showing them off. I think they're neat, and I think they just add a little bit more fun to the place. Um, and I have a little bit of food up there, and of course a potted plant. Can't go wrong with your potted plants, man. Gotta have them. Next, I'm gonna sh next, I'm gonna show you the bedroom. I do have the three beds. That one right there with the teddy bear right there is uh, Sean's bed, of course. Um, then I have my own little um, uh, my own little place to uh, to work, you know, and and take care of some things. I got the cash and the pencils and the microscope and the table as well as the globe. I've got little games and Sean's little pumpkin from when he went trick or treating. And, um, now I'm going to show you uh, essentially the the runaround of the whole place and how I built the secondary wall and everything uh, around the entire uh, entire setup to keep out enemies and to make sure that I was well protected. Um, I don't have as many turrets as I would like, uh, but I'm pretty sure I have enough to keep myself defended. Um, I was reading online <coughs> when I first started the build that this essentially is one of those places that gets attacked a lot. I haven't been attacked yet, um, but I'm I'm definitely ready for it. <laughs> Jerry's hot, loaded, and ready to go to kill somebody. And um, of course, I've got my robot that you know gives me free beer, but he's ready to fight and everything like that. So. Um, yeah, I'm really, really proud of this build. Also, I want to point out, if you look right over there into the right-hand side of your, of the video and everything, you're going to see that tree. That tree actually comes stock with a swing. Um, and I didn't show this in any part of the video, and I'm kind of mad that I didn't because I added a few small details. But there's a tiny little swing over there, a, a, uh, a tree swing on that tree. And I also put out little toys that Sean might play with, like the car and the little toy rocket and everything. Uh, so it's just essentially a little place that Sean would hang out with, you know, and have a good time. You see Sean right down there in his striped shirt. But yeah, this is definitely uh, definitely one of those builds I'm super proud of. Now there is one more small detail that I haven't got to yet and I'm about to now. My own little work area. I have of course my armor workbench, <coughs> my weapons workbench, which I do have a um, rifle on there, an oil can. You know, and uh, a couple pieces of ammo. I've got my chemistry station, which has got a book um, that's overdue because, you know, chemistry and stuff. And just a little area to keep all my schematics and um, different uh, mods and stuff like that. Fusion cores, tools. You know, so I really, really, like, engulfed myself into the small details. and really wanted to pay attention to this place and really make it um, a home and everything like that. And I, I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. And everything in every way, shape, form, or fashion. High on defense, um, just beautiful decor, decorations, and everything. And I think it turned out really well. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, this is Tardis Traveler 23, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you like and subscribe also. And thank you to PS4 and Share Factory.